My business partner just moved to Miami and he needs a new whip. Justin. You the guy there with the camera thing? Oh yeah. Right? Yeah, you recognize me? Can you take a picture? How's it going? I'm Justin. Justin Khan from Justin.tv. <laughs> What's up guys, today I'm going to be giving away my G-Wagon. This is the first car I ever bought. It's actually the only car I've ever bought back in 2015 and I've loved this car. I take it everywhere, in the city, on road, off road, driving around my ranch. It's the one thing I bought after Twitch where I really went hard on the rich guy shit. I'm gonna show it to you and then I'm gonna tell you the story of how I'm gonna give it away. So I went for the G63 version, the AMG version. You can see it's got this little light up AMG right here, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's got perforated leather seats. It's a little dirty inside. Uh, this is what happens when you have a baby. Here's the sexiest part. It's, boom, car seat. The downside of the G-Wagon is the back seat is not very big. You can kind of see it's a little cramped here. Because since we have a kid, this is our only car. It's a pain in the ass to get anywhere. My wife, she's got to sit in the back. She's super cramped, so we're going to buy a family vehicle. I promised her we can buy something, a more comfortable ride for the family. That's what we're going to do. My business partner, Robin, my partner on my fund, Goat Capital, our $50 million seed fund, just moved to Miami, and he needs a new whip. So I'm going to surprise him by giving him my vehicle, flying to Miami, and showing up and being like, surprise, here it is. But there's one twist. This car, as it is, is not Miami enough. I mean, it's kind of Miami, but it's not as Miami as it could be. And so before I give it to him, I'm gonna wrap the whole thing matte white to make it as Miami as possible. All right, let's go. All right, what's up guys? We are going to announce the winners of the giveaways from our last couple of videos. Uh, we're giving away $1,000 for someone who commented on the video with Robin and I. All right, this is the first one. I'll read you the comment. This is from Rick James. Hey, Justin, commenting for the algorithm. Thanks. Edit. I'd use my $1,000 as a down payment for my first car. Might be too late, haha. -ha. Thanks anyways, have a great day, bud. Love that positive energy. You are the winner of the $1,000. All right, second, we've got uh, these J's. Uh, courtesy my friends at Pushes. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna keep this pair. So the Jordans go to Solomon Assad. Subscribed and following. I hope to wear these J's one day at my first investor meeting and hopefully IPO of my company in the future. I love that ambition. I don't know if the shoes are gonna do it alone for you, but who knows? I hope these work for you. In the next video, we're going to be dropping a Google form and the first 10 people who sign up to that form are gonna get something super special. So you don't wanna miss out. Subscribe to those post notifications. You see the video first, you're gonna get that link first and then you're gonna put your name in it and then you are gonna be the one of those special 10 beautiful winners. So that's it, let's get back to the video. All right guys, so we're going to Miami soon and we're gonna to try to figure out how to get Robin this car. Well, before we do, people are gonna ask me, why are you giving away your G-Wagon? You love that car, Justin, which is true, I loved it. That was the first car I ever bought, 2015. I'd always wanted this giant black SUV. I thought it was like the coolest thing. You know, I grew up watching 50 cent videos. When I finally made some money, I went out and bought one and I was thrilled. It was awesome. It was like the greatest thing ever for about a week. And then after that, I was kind of like, well, what if I had this other car or this other car? You know, was really ridiculous. I bought a black G-Wagon and I actually started thinking about fantasizing about buying a, a white G-Wagon. Cause I was like, maybe white will be better. Yeah, it's just a little mini example of the hedonic treadmill. Like it never ends. You might get something that you always wanted that you think is going to make your day and it will make your day, but it's not going to make your life. There's always going to be more ups and downs. Things are going to, you know, just get, that becomes your new normal. And then you're just like, okay, this is it. This is, this is my, what I'm used to now. TLDR, the chase for material things never ends. Why do I need a fancy car? I decide to buy a car that's more family oriented. If at the same time, while I'm getting rid of this, I can make my friend happy, then you know, that's what I'm gonna do. One thing I learned from my mom is that it's really great to be generous to your friends and the people around you. Robin had borrowed it actually uh, you know, for a while. He was down in LA driving around, really liked it. And I was like, oh man, I could just make his day if I like transported it to Miami where he moved and then boom, that's his new daily driver. One thing that's important is like create reciprocal relationships. Right? That's super important. Robin has always been someone who's been an incredibly generous friend to me. You know, he's always been there for me and tough times, times when I've when I had my injury, I had my accident, like couldn't use my arms, you know, he was driving me to the doctor. 
Uh, he's just an amazing friend. And, and it's really, really important that, you, you know, when you find people who show you love, you show them love back. And like material things, like that's not important. Like a car, that's not that much love. But like uh, what's more important is just to connect and be kind and be there for the people who are there for you. There's nothing more important. Uh, I'm excited to give him this gift. I think he's going to be excited. Well, maybe. We're going to go have a blast in Miami. I hope. Fingers crossed. All right, so let's go. All right, I've been trying to figure out someone to ship and wrap this car uh, to my boy Robin. We've been emailing people. It turns out you can get this car shipped open air or closed air, basically inside of something or outside. Outside, it's much cheaper. It's like a thousand bucks. I mean, inside, it's... 3300 I kind of want to ship it on the outside. I mean, maybe this is a consequence of giving away your car. You don't really give that much of a shit. I hope you don't see this. If you do, I love you still. All right, what's up, guys? So we've made some progress. I've been hard at work emailing the rap guys in Miami, and we've arranged it so someone's going to come to my place, pick up the car in California, drive all the way across the country to Miami, clean it, because as you saw, it's a... Uh, it's kind of a piece of shit right now. And then they're gonna wrap it matte white, the most Miami thing I can imagine. And then I'm gonna fly to Miami and we're gonna surprise Robin with the car. So we've been waiting for multiple days for the transportation guy to come who's gonna drive the G-Wagon, well, on a truck, all the way to Miami. He was supposed to show up yesterday, didn't show up. And he was like, I'm coming at nine, then he was like, I'm coming at 1 a.m. And now it's the morning. I think he's finally here. Doesn't really make me want to trust him with my whip, but I'm giving away anyway, so we'll see what happens. So let's go drop it off, and then uh, uh, we'll say goodbye. My baby. Hello. What's up, man? Giving a call. Justin. Hey. You're the guy the, with the camera thing. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, you recognize me? Uh, can you take a picture with this sure. guy? What's up, man? Perfect. What if he just drives it on this little ramp and he just he misaligns the wheels and it just it just goes poof, hilarious? Okay. Thanks so much. Gosh. All right, mission accomplished. Next stop, Miami. Look at this guy. My aspirational morning routine into the magazine. Waking up at 6.45 a.m. Questionable. So we're on our way to Miami now to go see if our car is done. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get there and it's gonna be not done because the guy that said he would be there on Monday and I think he did dropped off the car on Sunday. So maybe we've just gone to Miami for absolutely no reason at all, uh, which would be completely hilarious. Wah, wah. All right, Grant, you've never been to Miami. Never. What are you looking forward to? <laughs> I don't even know what's in Miami. He doesn't even know, what, he doesn't even know what part of the country it's in. It could be going anywhere right now. That was a rough one. That was terrible. Welcome to Miami. Miami trying to get some to eat. Robin and I met when I was uh, back in 2007. I was trying to get free bandwidth from Verizon. He was running the data business there, and I was like, with Justin TV, I was, you know, bandwidth was super expensive, mobile bandwidth. So I went and hit him up for bandwidth, and I was like, give us some free mobile bandwidth over these like cell phone data modems. And he was like, no. But then we became really good friends in 2016. Basically what happened is I was in Shanghai. I had this one night, like random night where I wasn't doing anything and I posted on Facebook. So I was like, I'm in Shanghai just to see if anyone would respond. And Robin responded was like, oh, I'm here, we should meet up. It was so sociable. And then we kind of realized that we've been doing all the same shit for the past nine years. Started companies and then Burning Man, all the stuff that he liked, I liked too. And so uh, we just became really good friends since then. So for the past five years, hanging out together a lot and then investing together. And that's really how we how we became friends. All right, so we're here. DoorDash. What's up, bro? Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you, gonna, are you guys gonna video this? Hi, Are you gonna make a video of my place? <laughs> Okay, 